Deep Purple and Randy California, live in Quebec on the 6th of April, 1972. Today I received a notification from a good friend who informed me that after all these years, someone has found a tape of Deep Purple with Randy California playing lead guitar. This is from the one show they played together in Quebec. Now I always thought there must be a recording of this show somewhere. Many people over the years have said they've heard it or a mate has a copy of it, all of which unfortunately turned out not to be true. The story goes that Richie Blackmore had come down with jaundice and Purple, looking for a replacement to finish their North American tour, had contacted Al Cooper. Cooper could play guitar and keyboards and was one of the founding members of the American band Blood, Sweat and Tears. He was also a well-respected session musician and supplies the organ on Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. Personally, I wouldn't have thought Cooper was any way right for Deep Purple. He was a skilled enough musician, don't get me wrong, and would have got by. But the auditions with Cooper didn't work out. Cooper suggested that maybe a more ideal fit for Purple was the young 21-year-old guitarist, Randy California. Jimi Hendrix met California when he was just 15 years old, the day he'd secured his first solo gig at the Café Wa in New York. They'd met at Manny's Music Store, and Hendrix was so impressed with California's skills, he immediately asked him to become a member of Jimmy James and the Blue Flames. That afternoon, in the boiler room behind the stage at the Café Wa, Jimmy taught Randy the set list, which included a few of Jimmy's originals and some old blue standards that California already knew. For the next six months, California studied under the guitar genius. If Jimmy had a new song, he'd teach it to the band just a few hours before they started playing. At their peak during the summer of 1966, the Blue Flames were playing six sets a night, 2 p.m. to midnight, seven days a week. An incredible schooling for a young guitarist. For more on those New York days, please check out the video in the description. Jimi Hendrix and Randy California, New York, 1966. So, back to April 1972. Randy came in and learnt the purple set list in a few days. The set on that night was Strange Kind of Woman, Into the Fire, Child in Time, The Mule, Lazy, When a Blind Man Cries, Space Trucking and Lucille. So far, the only number we have from the show is When a Blind Man Cries. There is a link to that video in the description. But the gentleman who posted that video says he has almost the whole set on tape. Everything but Lucille. The sound quality on When a Blind Man Cries is okay. It's bootleg quality. But what it does show, only after a few days together, the band are cooking. It also shows what great musicians Purple and California were. To sound this good after such a short time together is phenomenal. The show itself has been a kind of holy grail for Deep Purple and Randy California fans. It's been discussed endlessly on the forums and I think most people never actually thought we'd get any recordings of that gig. Ian Pace has said Randy was a great guy and a great player but didn't have that certain something Purple were looking for. John Lord and Ian Glover both said Randy played brilliantly. Ian Gillen and Randy got on like a house on fire and on Ian's 1979 UK tour he asked California especially to come and be the support act. Also during that time giving Randy some free studio time to record. Randy California came out and said as much as he loved playing in Deep Purple he couldn't play someone else's music night after night but the experience had been wonderful. In 1972, I can remember reading a review of the concert that said California's playing was absolutely brilliant, especially his slide guitar on Child in Time. So hopefully we get to hear the whole concert sometime in the future. If anyone wants to check out more of Randy California's playing, there is loads and loads on YouTube, but a good place to start is Spirits, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus, which is an incredible album. 
So thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe to the channel and stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.